What's going on, YouTube gang? It's Melody DFS coming to you live and direct. Here to give my favorite plays, NHL playoffs. Hope everybody's having a great day. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel. Press that bell icon and always stay notified for new videos. Do we got a four game main slate, so let's jump right into it. On to my first play at the center position. Of course, we got Austin Matthews going against Tampa Bay. He's averaging 22.5 fans points in the past five home games, 4.4 shots on goal a game. Game one, he had 37 fans points, six shots on goal with two goals that game. Hopefully, he can bounce back in his spot for today. Going to our next play. I do like David Kempf. He's real cheap. He's an uptrend spot. As you can see in the last four games, he did have a 13. Bounce back to 11.5. And in this matchup, I definitely think he'll be in a good spot once again to get a goal, which he had a goal in the game one and also in game three. So the Tampa's line averaged 59.4 face points to the position, 31.1 to the third line, like David Camp for today for value. He's only 2,500 on DraftKings, 32 on FanDuel. Going to our next play, going to our wing position. Van Der Kane, 6,700 on DraftKings, 69 on FanDuel against LA. He's back on the second line. He did have 48 fantasy points in game three, in which he was on the second line. He had three goals that game. LA is allowing an average 67.3 fantasy points to the position, 46.9 fantasy points to the second line. Hopefully he can bounce back, give you good upside in this play for today. Another play to look at will be Mitchell Marner. Pair him up with Matthews. In game four was his worst performance so far into the series. He's averaging 26 fans points in the first three games into the series. Tampa allowed average 76 fans points to the position, 53.9 to the first line. Definitely like Marinette for today. Pair up in the first line with Matthews. Let's go to our next play, going to our defense position. Play for value, Jonas Broden, 36 on DraftKings. 41 on FanDuel, 14, 17 in game two and game three, as they allow average 59 fantasy points to the position, 21.3 to the first line. Definitely think it's great value for today for Jonas Broden. You can also go up to Evan Bouchard for today. He's in a good spot. He's averaging 13.7 in the past three games on the first line in the series, in which LA allows average 55.9 fantasy points to the position, 21.4 to the first line. Also is due after the last game in game four. She bounced back as she had 17 and 15 in game two and game three. Like Evan in this play for today, let's go to our last play, going to our goalies. Pay up to Mike Smith, real consistent in the last three games in the series. He had 22, 33, 31 in the last three games, averaging 38 shots attempted. 36 saves with two goals allowed in the past five starts, averaging 24.2 face points last five home games. Like Mike Smith in this play. Another play you can also consider, Jack Campbell going against Tampa. He's 8,000, so again for cheaper. And he has done well in the first game and also in game three. He's back at home, averaging 19.9 face points in the past five home games. Be an uptrend play. He's more likely going to be low owned. So these are my favorite plays. Like the plays, give a thumbs up. Access to the rest of my player pool. Click the link in the description for Draft Dashboard Tools. It's only a dollar up to 30 days. When you sign up, get access to the NHL cheat sheet. Top players for the day. Sleepers and your studs. Click on the watch players. See my plays up top for watch Mills DFS picks. Be the DraftKings or FanDuel. So I love y'all. Y'all collect that bag. It's Mel DFS and y'all stay blessed. And I'll see y'all in the next video.